Good day Philippines, this is Mike Pado once again, returning to our tropical weather analysis for this Wednesday through Friday, October 7 to 9, 2020, and this is brought to you by Typhoon 2000, the Philippines' first website on tropical cyclones. So let's begin with our update, here's the latest graphs up, beginning today, Wednesday until tomorrow, Thursday. Uh, we're still uh, looking at severe tropical storm Chan Hom, which uh, has been upgraded from a tropical storm and it didn't enter the Philippine area of responsibility, so it has no local name. So the name Nika has not yet been used. And right now it's moving closer towards southwestern Japan with a possible uh, recoverture towards the northeast along this stationary front. So this system will uh, continue to enhance some strong northeasterly surface wind flow affecting northern Luzon and the Batanes and Babuyan Kubab Islands. And right here we have a monsoon trough connecting uh, towards a uh, shallow low pressure area over the Bicol region and another LPA 91W which is expected to make landfall over Vietnam in the next uh, few hours. And it's a, it has a lower chances of developing the tropical cyclone. And uh, the, along this uh, line, we could expect some isolated discarded rain showers and thunderstorms across uh, central and southern Luzon, Bicol region, Mindoro, Romblon, and Marinduque. While here over the Calayan Island group, Palawan, Sulu Archipelago, and the rest of the Visayas, it will be under the influence of the westerly surface wind flow, bringing some uh, breezy conditions and isolated rain showers and thunderstorms as well. While over Mindanao, there could be some uh, heavy amounts of thunderstorm activity as well due to the wind convergence. And so far, the, those are the weather systems affecting most parts of the country, different weather system as we speak. So there's no worry when it comes to destruction, it's more on uh, heavy rainfall which could uh, produce some localized flooding. So please take all nice precautions and also some uh, lightning strikes. Outside of power, there's no LPA whatsoever, there's only uh, the usual intertropical convergence zone here over the uh, central and western Micronesia up to the Marshall Islands and some easterly wind flow here to the north of the IDCZA so far. Uh, that's the latest from our graphs up. And as we look at our fast animation, you can see clearly here Chan Hom is now uh, being upgraded into a typhoon with winds of 120 kph as we speak. And you can see the large rugged eye as it moves towards southwestern Japan. And you can see here the shallow low pressure area disorganizing as it traverses the Beagle region. Not so much effects, just some isolated discarded rain showers across the Beagle region and nearby areas. And the LPA here along the east coast of Vietnam making landfall over the Vietnamese peninsula. And so far that's the uh, fast animation. Let's take a look at our uh, uh, Asian global tracks on Chan Hom. So they all agree it will record before uh, hitting uh, southwestern Japan and it will pass along the coastal areas of southern uh, Honshu within the next three to four days. So expect to reach a high of 160 kph upon its recoverture, but it has no uh, effects to the Philippine Islands. And as we look at our Typhoon Global Model, so they all agree that it will pass over that area. Now, here's the latest zoom in satellite animation. You can see lots of thunderstorm activity across Luzon, Visayas, Mindanao, Palawan, brought about by these uh, multiple systems, the northeast surface wind flow, generating some strong thunderstorms of northern Luzon, local convection over central Luzon because of the monsoon draft, bigger region. You could see some isolated thunderstorms brought about by the decaying or weakening LPA, a shallow one, but it is expected to reorganize once it reaches the West Philippine Sea west of uh, Mindoro. Isolated thunderstorms because of the westerly surface wind flow across Palawan, Visayas, and wind convergence bringing also thunderstorms across Mindanao. Let's take a look at our winter.com two-day rainfall and wind forecast from ECMWF so tomorrow afternoon you can see some isolated thunderstorms as well across the uh, portions of central and northern Luzon 
Bicol Region, Mimaropa, Visayas, and Mindanao becoming more frequent over Southern Quezon because of the passage of the LPA somewhere here on Thursday afternoon. And on Friday afternoon, you can see here that the LPA will reorganize over the, to the west of the Calamian Group becoming an, an active low pressure area since it's 1004 millibars that will be around 2 millibars shy of becoming a uh, tropical depression when it hits 1002 millibars it will become a tropical depression so likely it will develop once it reaches the west philippine sea before moving out of the philippine area of responsibility so it is possible that it, this may become nika by pagasa so stay tuned for more updates in the coming days here in the uh, portions of the Bicol region, Eastern Visayas, the rest of Visayas, as well as Mindanao, uh, it will be under the influence of, of the southwesterly surface wind flow and some southerly surface wind flow, generating some local convection over these areas in the afternoon. So just uh, an ordinary day for the uh, rest of the Philippines. But here, across the Batanes and Bawing of Islands, extreme northern Luzon, it will still be under the influence of the northeasterly surface wind flow or northeasterlies, being some fresher breeze from the northeast. And uh, so far, that's the latest from our two day rainfall and wind uh, forecast. And before we leave you, here's the latest global tropics hazards and benefits outlook from the Climate Prediction Center of NOAA. This for the next two weeks issued every Wednesday, so here's the latest. Valid from October 7 today until October 13. You can see here possible formation of another tropical cyclone west of the Philippines. It's the system that we are mentioning uh, a few slides back. So this is the possible formation. It's still at 50% uh, chance. So this is a moderate chance that it will uh, develop in the tropical cyclone. So this is a pure sign that we are on La Nina mode because during La Nina, tropical cyclone does develop over the Philippines and intensify over the West Philippine Sea into the South China Sea and hitting Vietnam at full force. So let's hope and pray it won't develop so that the people uh, in Vietnam will be safe enough from these weather systems. And this is the above average rainfall, what about by the passage of uh, Typhoon Chan Hong. And over the Philippines, also uh, some above average rainfall, what about by the existing La Nina. And on October 14 to October 20, there might be another tropical cyclone formation. This is moderate chance, 50-50% that it will form within or over the Philippine Islands. So likely this system will again move towards the West Philippine Sea without any uh, major impacts towards the Philipp to, to the Philippine Islands. So that's good news. At least we are on the uh, the Philippines is under the formation of these tropical cyclones, not not being struck by already a full blown typhoon. The problem if the, if the formation is here, so the Philippines will be affected severely by this system if the formation will be here since it's over the Philippine Islands so that's good news it will just move over the West Philippine Sea so that will be on week 2 October 14 to 20 so there will be some major changes for next Wednesday so hopefully it won't be uh, a threat to our country so there you go that's the latest for today Wednesday to Friday and from Typhoon 2000 this is Mike Pado reporting and we'll be returning again on Friday to give you more updates. Stay safe everyone. Have a great uh, week ahead. Be hashtag WeatherWiser. And thank you for watching our weather channel.